Gordon from Garden Grove has a question for the panel. What are your best childhood memories? Oh. Who is this guy? Where did they get you? Are you, you hosting your own show? Uh, well, who wants to start? All right. Best childhood memories. Um, best childhood memories was when I got enough courage to go on stage for the first time in high school because it was something that I always wanted to do. And the thrill was something that will never be equaled. And I'm so glad that I did because it made me find a home very quickly. I knew exactly what I wanted to do from that day on. Leslie? Um, the same thing. It was hearing an audience response to me playing Eloise in grade school. Um, Eloise is a character who lived at the Plaza Hotel. I'm right. sure some of you know her. And what? Do your own. Hey, yes. My name is Eloise. I'm six. I live in the top floor. My mother is 30 and wears a three and a half shoe. <laughs> that was my, that was my childhood script. That and being able to get horseback riding lessons. Two the biggest things in my life. Chad? Um, best childhood memory. Best childhood memory. My, when I was a kid, uh, my parents were divorced, so uh, my dad and my stepmom had me the least. You know, they, they had me two weekends a month or whatever. So when they had me, they were like, we're not going anywhere, we're just hanging with you. And so I was the entertainment when I was like seven, eight, nine. So, you know, I'd go to the other room. My stepmom had this big box of hats, you know, and I'd put on a different hat and I'd come out like comb my hair a certain way or, you know, like draw on a mustache and I'd just play all these different characters and just be the biggest goofball and, you know, just, just entertain my parents and had a great time. And I think they're the people that think I'm the funniest guy on earth, you know. Natalia? I need somebody to laugh at. We all do, Chad. We all do. <laughs> watch it, turn to watch it. Natalia? Um, I grew up in, in Georgia in a small town, and I uh, love Georgia, but during the summers, we would go and visit my, my mom's parents in uh, Mexico. And that was just so much fun for me, because it was a completely different world, and we would just go and have parties and piñatas and tons of people dancing, all kinds of stuff. So that was probably the nice. Very nice. I guess, I guess for me it's more like a general memory of what being a kid was like compared to how hectic life has become. You look back when you're a kid, you just you realize how simple things are. You wake up and all you care about is what, what you know friend you're going to go play with. Right. And it's my goal to try to get back to that. Right. When you're a kid, you're like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And you work your whole life to try to get there. And when you're an adult, you try to work backwards. So that's, that's what I'm trying to get. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm still a kid. I was just on that roller coaster right over there. I was having a lot of fun. <laughs> Front row. Uh, the biggest memories, I think, as a childhood, Chad and I both being from Texas. And uh, go Texas. Yes, baby. Uh, <laughs> this is my Texas buddy. Um, but um, my parents were both divorced when I was at five. So every summer... I used to go down to the country, a little small town like Natty, so um, we had a population of 4,000, but I lived 26 miles from that and had bust in every day, every 6.50 in the morning, walking that mile rock to the, the highway, and our population was actually it was 13 people, so when we moved away, us four, it kind of depleted. It was downhill ever since. Um, <laughs> But every summer, I think, because the grandkids, we'd always go to my grandparents, and I can't tell you what a big influence they've been on my life, just having that quality time with your grandparents and the appreciation of what I have, and I appreciate that now because the values that they showed me and taught me, I think, and spending the time and the freedom to be like uh, little boys running around being adventurous and playing in the creeks, coming back all cut up, and everything was very exciting for us boys. And um, so I, I give... I'm all my love to every parent, every grandparent out there. You affect everything your child grows up and sees. Excellent. I have Alexis from Fullerton, and hers will be the last question, and it's for Chad and Natalia. Are Emily and Xander ever going to get married? <laughs> Liz, you're adorable. How old are you? Five. 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 Is Sandra the only going to get married? Uh, only to me. <laughs> Not if I could do 
do anything about it. She's my friend, too. <laughs> you know, I would love to see that. Um, you know, I mean, just thinking selfishly and personally, I'd love to see that. I think it'd be, you know, I think it'd be awesome. Would you like them to get married? The other thing I okay, can tell you right you. now is if they get married, it'll never last. <laughs> Boy, that's the truth. Me and Monica are the only marriage that have ever lasted. <laughs> and you know what hell it's been. Well, how long is going to last? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I have to say goodbye to them and so do you. Well, then it's too uh, before that. I would, on behalf of all of us, like to thank some people in plaid that are down here that have taken care of us so well this weekend. Would you stand up, please? Adrian, stand up. 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 Thank you. They are gold. Now, at 6 o'clock, John, 6 o'clock, you will see... Tyler, right here. Tyler Christopher, who will be over at the casting call, and one of you will get to act with him. Take a peek at what I'm talking about from last Can weekend. I? Are you going to? Can I act with him? No. Uh, you can't. Is it a love scene? Take a look. No. No. You can't. Five, four, three, two. Now, you're going to be playing Greenlee. Maximilian, you're going to be playing, of course, Carl.